Caroline Osborne, and it has been my great honor to be a part of St. Ben's cross country and track and field programs for four years. I want to start by talking about my birthday. My birthday is never as great as I think it's going to be. I build the concept up in my head, look forward to it every year, and every year it's just a day, and I'm left just slightly disappointed. The big days are not often what we think they will be. But the time my cross country team woke up in California to hear Morgan Pierce yelling about wetting the bed, that I'll remember forever. And it's those moments that I'll miss the most. The random moments you find yourself caught in with no built up anticipation or forewarning. The best memories find you, you don't find them. They happen in a split second and they've defined my St. Ben's athletics experience. One second, I'm saying goodbye to my dad on my first day on campus before he drives back to Colorado. The next, I'm sitting in Natalie Radicek, the teammate I met maybe an hour ago's junior apartment, eating the sandwich that she made for me. A simple gesture on my first day that meant and still means the world to me. And in that small act of genuine Benedictine kindness, eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in West Kemper, I'm in a moment. One second, I'm warming up with my cross country team at the conference championships at St. Olaf. The next, we hear a resounding, go Bennies, cheer, and the entire soccer team is standing in front of us, fully clad in their game day uniforms and parkas, surprising us before their game later that day. And as we line up at the start and the entire crowd is silent for the gun, except for the unknowing St. Ben soccer players who are still yelling as loud as possible, I'm in a moment. One second, I'm aqua jogging in Lake Sag on a Wednesday with my teammates. And then the temperature of the September air is perfect, and the lake is calmer than usual, and my teammates are laughing, and the water is glistening off our moving elbows. And in a moment, I realize how meant to be my college decision was. One second, I'm reading an email that is telling me campus will be shutting down, that we have days to move out, that we may come back, but no one really knows that my season is postponed and probably canceled. The next, I am being hugged and cried on by my favorite people on earth, my team, who are telling me how much they love me, how much they feel for me, and I'm overwhelmed with gratitude. Yet again, I'm in a moment. To the freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, you have so many more moments coming. I'm so insanely jealous. If I could give you any advice, it would be to try and catch those elusive moments when they come because all too often they feel so normal that you forget to recognize them until they're already gone. But in the end, they're the ones that you'll miss the most, I can promise you that. And to my fellow seniors, graduation was going to be one of the big days. And because of that, I firmly believe that it would not have lived up to the hype. And maybe I'm in the minority for thinking that, but think back to your moments, the ones that blindsided you, that you didn't see coming, the ones that stemmed from regular practice on a Thursday, that turned into the hardest you'd laughed all week. The stories that start with, remember that one time when, the ones that when you think back on, it's impossible not to smile. Those are what define your time here, and those are what we take with us when we go.